Aquarius, good morning. How are you guys doing? So we are designed a load of questions that are based on Patreon for the week. And then for now, it's pretty much the next 48 hours. But it will be things like, where are you now? Challenges, what to focus on. Uh, their thoughts and feelings about you, about this situation. Uh, what happens next in the near future. But some of these are just going to be the next 48 hours. So let's find out where you are now, Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius now? What's going on with Aquarius now? Where are they now? So, Nine of Cups, um, and they said Virgo, but that could be a Virgo Life Path Nine. Aquarius, don't forget, you can also watch this as a Leo or an Aquarian or a Life Path Eight if you follow me in numerology. You've also got the Queen of Swords at home with a mother, Four of Swords. At the moment, taking a break, or this is your partner, it can still go vice versa, okay? But at the moment, there are a lot of questions that are on my mind. I'm really getting tired and exhausted at work. I'm getting frustrated, and I really just want some time off for a lot of you. Maybe to spend with a partner, or you could actually be a single mum here. Like, you might be a single mum, and you're kind of like, look, there's a lot of questions that is on my mind. I really kind of want to know where this is going. Okay, there could be situations that a lot of you are focusing on health, mental or physical. This is also like pertaining water. So it's kind of like water retention. Okay, so it, it feels slightly tense around you at the moment. For some of you, I'm also hearing like TENS machine or tense. So TENS machine would be that I'm in pain, okay, back pain or leg pain, or I'm in Spain in pain, okay, or Pam or Pamela or Pucci or a Pisces or anybody's skin with P, or saying Paula or Fitzpatrick, Fitzgerald, Geraldine, Teen, Tina, Tyler, Taro, Tanya, someone from Great Britannia, uh, Brian also. But uh, anyway, like... There are certain things I'm, I just feel like a break. I, I just feel like a break away. Okay. That I just feel like I'm okay. For some of you here, I'm picking up that this person's on their own. You're at this person actually isn't in a relationship. It might be the person that you or they are interested in. Okay. But at the moment, it feels like that all they want to do is just like take a rest. Okay. Now, I'm also hearing eyeball pool, which is all I want to do is do it. So there might be an energy of sex or something that could be coming up in your. Um, uh, in your sector here. Let's just change the camera position. Position one, position two. Um, but yeah, at the moment, at home, resting, relaxing, not really doing much. Could be a single mum. Might be trying to diet and, and stuff like this. Might be finding it very difficult to like lose weight or you are losing weight. I'm actually on the Slimming World diet and I've actually lost nearly a stone. Um, I actually really like Slimming World. Slimming World, a lot of people are against it, but to be quite honest with you, I lost loads of weight. When I lost all my weight before, it was actually on Slimming World. So I decided to go back and do that and um what do you know but lo and behold i started losing weight again aquarius so go me yay <laughs> so uh anyway let's find out what are um aquarius's challenges what will they be challenged with in the next 48 hours what will aquarius be challenged with so you get the three at work, uh, relationship is here, and the nine of wands. Oh, now that is a challenge. Now, for some of you, there is two women here in a same-sex relationship, more than likely. There could be a third-party situation going on between these two women. This would be a situation that's probably going on at work, where you might work with this woman at work, and this is you working, but it's very controlling. It's a very controlled environment. Now, for a lot of you, if you are working, regardless of love at the moment, let's go down the messages of... Um, uh, what I'm seeing for your work is that your working environment is a very controlling one. Okay, so it might be your boss or people that you work with, people very bossy, people coming in, people coming out. This can be where I work in a shop and it's like, oh, hello, madam, what would you like? Oh, um, yes, hello, uh, yeah, I would like some fish, please. You're like, oh, well, that's a Pisces, isn't it? You're like, yes. <laughs> so it could be a Piscean energy here, but again, or a life path three. But again, there's an energy of like working environment being very toxic, and my boss or people around me, and these are like clients that come into a shop and they're like, "Oh, Dave, I want this." You know, what do you mean you want that? <laughs> right so some of you it might be your working environment and on this side where you are now is extremely tired extremely drained like people keep like complaining or moaning or just coming in
being very demanding, telling you to do things, and you're really fed up with it and, and whatnot. So this could be like your working environment is a very controlled one. Okay, now I am going to put this out there. I feel if you work on the internet, it's also a very controlled one because there are a lot of people that run around like fucking raven lunatics. So that's why I cut my comment section off. I'm sorry for you people that want to comment, and I really do appreciate it, but I'd had enough of my work environment here. People sticking their nose into my business here. Okay, so it's a little bit of a message like that. Where I'm working, it's kind of getting on my nerves. It's stressing, not stressing me out, but I just can't be doing with all of this. All of the confusion of the people that keep coming in and blah, 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 so on and so forth, right? Here. Now, if you're on here, Jill, I do apologize for yesterday. Jill Arlock, is it? Um, I do apologize. I wasn't watching my live feed yesterday when it went, it didn't go live. I don't mean the live one. I mean the one where I was doing a cancerian reading, I think. And I came in too late and my stream bot had actually cut you off and said, please stop spamming uh, capital letters. And you wasn't. So that wasn't me. I just need to let you know if you're watching, Jill, that that wasn't me. Okay, I've rectified it now. So you guys can comment in the live, in the feed, whatever you like now. But my stream bot was kind of like, oi. <laughs> so that wasn't me, so I do apologise. Hope you didn't take offence to it. Okay, um, but yeah, that's just there. That's just a message for Jill Arlock, I think. Um, so I do apologise. Uh, it wasn't me. <laughs> right, now, you've got this energy where this is work and it's very tiring, very draining. Don't know what's going on. There could be someone that's eyeing someone up a lot and it's very like, oh, God, this is very sleazy. Why do you have to keep watching me? Why do you have to keep looking at me for? Okay, because this woman's turning her back on it, thinking, you know what, I really can't be doing with all of this shit here. Now, it could be a man. Now, that's your working environment, right? So your challenge is, is that at work, it's very challenging. There's really not a lot that you can do about it because you're at work. Okay, now you can do things like block, but if you work, you know, <laughs> if you don't work on the internet, you can't block, right? So if you're working in an environment, what it's telling you is, is that your environment is very controlling, okay? If you're looking for messages around work. Now, there can also be a very controlling mother for a lot of you here, yours or theirs, okay? But like very controlling energy here, working from home, maybe family situation at home, very challenging, okay? It might be a mom or something like that for a person here. Pisces normally have that. Okay, in their like built within their DNA of their chart, they normally go for a lot of this here. Um, so it can be a very challenging energy of a parent stuff stuff here going on. Uh, now, for a lot of you, if this be your love life and there are two women, I believe that there are two women here that are competing for someone's attention, maybe at work, or they could be trying to compete for each other's attention at work. But there's a hell of a lot of control issues that are going around about it. Now, like I said, it can be gaslighting, narcissism. It doesn't have to be. Everybody that goes through any kind of like situation of love, there is always control issues to work yourselves through. Okay, so no one's to blame here, but there are control issues, right? So you've kind of got that in your challenged position, okay? Um, so we've done your love life. If there isn't same-sex relationship energy, there could be someone at work that keeps eyeing up two women, okay? And it might be a boss or something like that, and you're at work, and you be one of the women, and this be the other woman that's getting very tired and drained of it. This person might be oblivious to the fact that they're controlling this woman also, and it might be a male that's in the middle of the midst of all of this kind of situation going on here. Um, that is where someone's trying to control this woman and also maybe trying to control this woman, but this woman isn't having any of it. But it's just getting very tired and frustrated with the shit that's going on over here. Okay. So, it, like I said, it could be a third-party situation that's kind of present, and this be the other woman and this be the other woman, like... You as a as a um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian, maybe. Okay, and then on this side, this woman's also being controlled by an energy as well. Okay, so it can be. Uh, don't relate to every message to being part of you, right? Or alchemy, or Natalie. But like, don't let this be always a part of you. If it isn't and it doesn't relate to you, then it doesn't relate to you at all. Okay, just watch a different part of your chart there. So, um, but we will find out anything else. So, what should uh, Aquarius, what should they focus on this week? Uh, the, sorry, within the next 48 hours. So, don't forget, Patreon is going to be this week to focus on, okay? But for the next 48 hours, what should Aquarius focus on, please? So, you've got the uh, Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and Aquarian. So, like I said, it could be another person as Aquarius or Leo in their chart. It could also be a Life Path 4, Scorpio, or Aries person. Okay, and then Water Sign Energy. But um, 
yeah, I believe that what it's saying is is that you, you know, you're at work, they're at work, you're apart if you're in a relationship. This is one working environment. This is the other one. Very tired and slightly draining. It does have a nine here. Can relate to like two nine of ones, if you like. Okay, very controlled environment, very controlled environment. What to focus on is your relationship or not your relationship and your family. It depends on what is good in your life and what is bad in your life, Aquarian, right? So you've kind of got this what to focus Focus on is home, house, relationship, uh, Aquarius, the future, look forward to the future, not the past. So again, we'll go over it very quickly. If you are in a relationship and there isn't no third party and it's not a same sex relationship and you are pretty much seeing each other, this one's working, this one's working. What to focus on is the relationship. Okay. This is also moving as well. Okay. Like moving towards the future. Eights are always moving. Eight, okay, traveling and moving. So if you are here and here and it's very like, oh, I just want to get out of work or I want to get out of the house or I want to travel or I want to go out for a bit, what it's saying is have a break off work, have a break off work, go out for a bit, go out the head, go out, you know, go outside, go and get some fresh air. If there's an energy of travel and trying to get like a travel agent, okay, or a housing association or anything like that, this is also housing association trying to find a place to stay for uh, ones. Someone might also be asking someone to come and stay at this four of ones within the next 48 hours. Okay. So what to focus on is this energy of spending time with your partner, traveling, visiting either family or relationship, being asked to come over to the four of ones. So that's for you guys that might not be living together. You could work together, but you don't live together. This goes on at work. This is what you're being asked uh, within the next 48 hours of what to focus on, okay, is your partner, okay, that's for you guys that don't work together, for a lot of you that are in this situation where this is about moving, okay, then this is what to focus on is the actual movement, okay, because this is the environment of trying to find out stuff. Okay, now for a lot of you, I'm also hearing that there might be social services to do with around an ex-husband or a wife having to go to court, having to go to um, social services. The children are here, okay? So that is in the what to focus on. So for a lot of you, you might be focusing on the child, but the child wants to do what they want. So your advice would be don't focus on the child. Focus on oneself here. Because if you are controlled in an environment by fate, okay, meaning it's a preordained destiny, okay, fight makes you stronger, okay? People that have never had to fight for anything in their life or climb the ladder of success or anything like that, they find it very difficult in order to be able to, like, get all of these things, right? So it's a little bit like if you look at me, right? I can't read. I can't write. I was shit at school. I was never good at anything. I was a bricklayer for many years. I was never – I was kind of good at it, but uh, – I was always told I was never good and everything else, right? The only thing that I was ever really good at is is communicating with people, understanding, therapy, and everything else that I went through, okay? That's what I was good at. So what did I focus on? What I wanted to become, okay? What I wanted to do, what I felt really good at, okay? And keep working at that, that one thing, not the two things, not the three things, the one thing, the focused energy, okay? Drawing focused on what makes me feel good, where I'm going to be going, where I'm headed, you know, what is coming my way is what I'm doing, right? So your focus is in a good energy here because this is you focusing on the future, okay? And the good energy and the good times and the good feelings and the thoughts of the relationship or where you're moving to or where you're going to, okay? So, because this is like very adventurous energy here, okay? So, within the next 48 hours, if you are apart, you're more than likely coming together here, okay? So, meeting up at family or house and all that sort of stuff or actual relationship, okay? That's what focus on for a lot of you. Okay, so what have we done? We've done 14 minutes. Putchy, you're all up in here, right? Um, so, where are we now? So, I did the hopes and fears for the other one. So, I've skipped now to card nine, but um, there, I've changed a lot of these questions. So they're like, how do they feel about you? How do they think about you? Okay, within the week, that is on Patreon. What happens in the near future of the week? And then at, at the end, what happens at the end of the week? Okay, what are the hopes and fears? What's the potential future? Okay, 
how do they think and feel about the situation at the end of the week or the month okay things like that okay but at the moment we're going to look at the next 48 hours of the hopes and fears of both parties involved what are the hopes and fears for aquarian please so you get Libra energy, the Seven of Cups and Cancerian. So there is an energy of maybe divorce, separation. There could be, for a start, <laughs> for a start, okay, this would be like social services and blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is also definitely the working environment here because this would be the boss and where you work or who you work for it doesn't have to be a libra but it can be okay so that would be the working environment and what it's saying to you is your hopes and fears is the fact that you know someone at, like because it's like trying to choose where to go or where to go out and like where to travel to and where to go to but for a lot of you you might be in your hopes and fears the fact that someone has another option okay that they're kind of like, well, you have an option. You have this woman and this woman, and where are you going? Like, who are you choosing? Do you have two men or two women, or what do you have? Like, you know, do you know that, or do you not know that, Aquarian, right? So that's one scenario, because you've got two sevens here. Now, in your hopes and fears of an actual relationship, this is pretty much just deciding where to go, okay, where to travel to, where to go out to where to move to if you want to move, okay? That's in your hopes and fears. But there is an energy here that does mean move. But in your hopes and fears, is kind of telling you, where should I go? When can I go? When will I get word about traveling or moving, okay? Um, for a lot of you, it might be fearing the fact that some of you have options or the other person has options. Um in your hopes and fears of the chariot, it's basically just about forward movement. I'm worried, you know, about moving forward and moving on for someone here. And I'm picking up that this might be to do with like a third energy. <clears throat> one of these people is worried about moving on without the other one. Like it's because the chariot is pretty much like an energy of like wanting to meet in the middle and wanting to like sort this out and like be this energy that is coming up for you. Okay. This energy is kind of like, you know, are you traveling towards them or them? Are you going to see them? Are you coming back to me and that blah, blah, blah. And what you're doing and where you're going and all of this sort of stuff. Right. So that might be the going between an energy of a third person there. Um, and it might also be to do with social services, because one of these could be a child here. And the child is like going to and from ex-husband, ex-wife circumstance. You believe that they're a narcissist or you know they are because they've been, you know, whatever you were married at some point now divorced or thinking about getting divorced and the child goes off to the four of wands and the aquarian or leo energy here and goes to and from right here so i'm more focused and worried about what goes on with them than what i am myself here and what it's saying to you is focus more on yourself and not your kids but again you're more than likely going to focus on your children right because you'll be trying to stop this from happening but what you're doing is just trying to stop destiny from happening right so you know that's down to one's individual because this is also destiny okay so it means it's set in stone okay it's written in the stars pretty much within your whole chart and theirs and everybody's right it's a major arcana can't be avoided can't be changed it's happening okay so um this energy is in your hopes and fears of worrying about where this person's going, where you're going, when you're going, when you're coming back, when you're not coming back. Okay, it could be an energy that's lost here that came up in another reading of five where Sag, Taurus, or Life Path Five was involved here. Um, because this is someone that's looking here, like I'm looking for a car, a house, a home to travel or move. Or I'm actually out looking, <laughs> okay? I'm actually in my car looking around for someone, okay, here. Like, I'm trying to find this energy. Where's Wally, okay? But where are they? I'm trying to find them. Now, for fuck's sake, do not go stalking twat flames when they're with someone, okay? Because I need to find them because I don't know where they are. <laughs> now, it might be where someone's kid or child has gone missing and they're here, 
okay, enjoying themselves, getting on with their life, doing their stuff. And this is a parent that's worried sick about where they are, but they're getting on with their life. Now, I'm sorry for anybody, but one of these here is um, an energy that is controlled, which is in the challenge, which means that if this be a parent, stop, keep trying to, ch to challenge the energy here that's here, okay? Because this is, I need to know where you're going, when you're coming home, what you're doing. Now, if this is, I don't know, I mean, 14, 15, 16, 20, 30, 40, 50 year old, I don't know. But like, you know, I am I want to know where you're going, what time you're going, what time are you coming back? Oh, go away. I just got a, a, a come up of my a vast and it said about scammers beware of scamming so it might be a um a message there for you beware of scammers or chappers or chapman okay but uh, this is also intoxicated energy here because this can be like drinking and driving or driving under the influence right so hopes and fears is the fact that somebody isn't driving under the influence or the hopes and fears that I really hope that they're not drinking again. Okay. Here. Because this can be like driving under the influence, right? I'm worried that they might be driving under the influence. And I need to make sure that you're not doing those kind of things. Because your boyfriend or girlfriend might not be very good for you. And I don't think you should really be with them because you're in an illusion thinking that, you know, here... So it might be someone that's trying to whisper into someone's ear saying, listen, you don't really want to be with them. You really shouldn't, you know, blah, 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 or intoxicated behavior. Um, that's in the hopes and fears. And this is also needing to find a place as well. Like I'm looking for a place to stay and travel to. Um, so let's have a look at where they are now any other advice cards for where aquarius is now please so we have got um threatens you never to leave oh dear threaten you to never to leave lee forgotten memories getting pulled out or called out okay but um so it's like dredging up the past of all the memories that have kind of gone on between this energy and this energy threatening behavior it's saying okay this queen of swords can be very cutting it can be coming from this energy also but like threatening you know don't leave or don't stay or you better leave her for me and like or putting out those bad intentions of threatening people here um you know, like, just can be someone that's very unnervy. Like, when I'm around you, they're very violent and they're very pointy. Okay. So, tell me more about the challenges that are messages for challenges for Aquarius, please. Challenges. Um, so, you've got minding my own business, taking care of me. I don't give a shit. You do what you want, Dave. Confused man. Oh, okay. So, this man, this, that's, this is a male energy here. That's really confused to shit. Now, maybe for not all of you, but this energy is very threatening, and this one's very confused. Now, like I said, this could be happening in the family, Jenna. Okay, it could be family members or ex-husbands or wives, but this person feels really confused and doesn't give a fuck about this energy that keeps using the Queen of Swords to threaten people. Okay, so they're not interested in the threats. They're not bothered. Wasting your damn time on all of the threats and keep trying to tell me what to do and where to go because I am the victim of narcissism and control. Okay, now, like I said, this can be you or them, Aquarius, Leo, you know, or Life Path 8. But one of these people on this side isn't the narcissistic energy, is actually suffering from the energy of PTSD and traumatized by violence here. I'm extremely goddamn confused of why you're so narcissistic because you're literally threatening me here, threatening me. So you're wasting your goddamn time because I'm not interested in your bullshit and your lies. Okay. Or your, com or your com uh, uh, conversation. I'm not bothered about it. I don't want to talk. I don't want to know. Okay. Keep threatening me. So what is position, uh, what to focus on? Um, tell me about Aquarius of this, what to focus on for Aquarius. 
is still dating. Keeping options open. Oh, okay, that's a very strange one because this is also keeping options open. But someone's already dating. <laughs> so how can you be telling one woman or man that you're dating and then also like, dating someone else? This is weird. This is kind of like this person here is threatening this one, but they're already married or already committed into a relationship. This person's married. <laughs> this person's married here. Okay, and I'm dating and I'm married and everything else. But um, like I said, if you're a person that's actually getting divorced and you've been going through the procedure of divorce, then, you know, you have to do what you like. But someone here is kind of like in this environment is thinking, oh, this is all great. You know, I'm married, I'm in a commitment, we've got the four of wands together, blah, 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 so on and so forth. You're like, ha, 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 little do you know, have I been threatening this bitch because she's with my man? And you're like, what? She's with my man What when you're in a relationship already? Yeah, I'm married. I'm after this person. This person doesn't give a fuck because you're already married. <laughs> so if, you, if someone here has blocked someone out and they're not communicating, they're damn not interested, that's because someone's playing the field of a man. This man is caught right in the trap of the hard place of, like, a woman threatening this guy here, saying that you're going to be mine. Hold on a minute, Dave. You're already with someone. So you're married. You can have your cake and eat it. I'm fucking locked up inside here of control and narcissism, okay, and you're having a go at me because I'm maybe with someone else I want to be on my own. I'm fucking manipulating here. What's your problem? <laughs> Still dating, keeping my options open. How kind of player is that? <laughs> <coughs> like I said, man, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. For some of you, this is a woman. This is a woman doing this to a guy. Here. Um, let's see. So this energy, the hopes and fears, tell me about the hopes and fears. Lit the fuck up. I bet you are. Praying for better days. No wonder. The girl next door that clicked on the block. Jenny on the cock. <laughs> okay. <coughs> justice, right? There you go, Jenny Justice. Seems to probably be you, maybe. <coughs> okay, praying for better days. The girl next door. That chick. That chick on the block. <laughs> so, there you go. There's a third-party situation. Somebody is having their cake and eat in it and is actually praying for better days <laughs> that they can just make do with some poor sap that's out there being manipulated. Okay. That, well, you'll do until my, you know, wife, husband. <laughs> you'll do until someone better comes along. This one that I want that's my control into that flame that I'm trying to control to want me. And then I also want my husband and wife at the same time. And it must be that other bitch that's next door that's confusing the whole situation of why they don't want me. No, it's because you're a player. <laughs> it's straight up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here. Yeah. Like I said, man, it isn't the chick next door. Well, it is. It's here. <laughs> Australia, maybe. <laughs> but, like, neighbours, right? Could be your next door neighbour. But, like, you know, still dating, keeping the options open. You're right, next door neighbour. How are you getting on? Yeah, I bet you fucking are on all your player. <laughs> I'm lit the fuck up. Like, yeah, I bet you are and all. Look at that mouth. And you're like praying for better days. I bet you are and all. So while you are, I'll go and see Doris next door. Okay. And then when you're gone, I'll sneak out the back door and go and see Jenny on the cop. Here. <laughs> yeah. Someone's playing like a fiddle. <laughs> Someone's playing someone like the Pie Piper, bruv. I'm telling you what, they're probably chuffing on the pipe and everything. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. That's going to royally piss everybody off that's hurt. But I'm fucking trying to make the person feel bad that's in the third party here that's the player. <laughs> and I can assure you that probably half of it is probably you lot. What do you want me to do, lie? <laughs> it's up to you, man. I mean, it's your karma. It's your, you know, it's the, who you're connected to. It's completely down to you, but someone's playing someone like a fiddle. <laughs> right? So there you go. So if you would like your actual weekly reading, Aquarian, okay, uh, which is, like I said, it's all 10 questions, and then it is based on a week, not a, not a uh, next 48 hours or what's going on, right? 
it's based on me calling out, okay, where are they now? But what's going to be happening in a week? What's the potential future? What is the future after the week? You know, so there's loads of those. If you would like that, you will need the silver or the gold tier provided to you below for Patreon, but you'll definitely need either the silver or the gold. Also, I have the join button that is open that is different than Patreon. It's 2 or $3. Dollars. It's where you get a free question and answer every time I go live. You come up, you say, hi, Steve, my name is... Okay, and then I say, okay, what's your question? Blah, blah, blah. Bosh, there you go. A few cards. There's your answer. Next. Okay, then I'll say do deceased loved ones where we channel your past deceased loved ones, and you get all of that for 2 or $3. Dollars if you join below okay so there you go guys thanks very much really do appreciate it and um i will hopefully see you on the other side